One aspect of technology that is redefining social interaction is the treaty. Understanding this, Trudy Makri, a Nigerian-owned digital tech firm based in Texas, USA, took a significant step as it launched the first ever 3D print technology in Africa at the Ikeja City Mall. In his remarks, the CEO and founder of 3D Makri, Mr. Israel Oviri, shared the value of the event. 3D technology is one of the new technology, just like the internet, that is going to disrupt the way we live, the way we create, the way we produce, and the way we live our lives. At this stage of this technology, we are still at the deceptive stage or deception stage. It's not yet everywhere. This equipment you saw here is the 19th of it in the world. This is the first in Africa. The whole of America has just five. And then probably Kuwait has one, Dubai has one. So it's a great privilege that we have one in Africa and it's here in Lagos, Nigeria. What you are seeing now that is called 3D technology is the fourth industrial revolution taking place in the world. When we had the fourth industrial revolution, which has to do with the steam engine, Africa was not involved. When we had the second industrial revolution, when Henry Ford came up with the T1 car, Africa was not involved. When the computer and the internet revolution started, Africa was not there. Now, this is a chance for Africa to get actively involved in the 3D printing technology. Some celebrities were in attendance. They took their 3D selfies and shared the experience. Uh, at least we have all kinds of, you know, things we've seen out here in Africa, um, but this is like the first of its kind in Nigeria and um, I'm proud to be a part of it. Um, I can't wait to see my, my, you know, 3D image. With what I saw in the whole process, and it looks pretty much like me, exactly like me. So, and um, I, I'm expected to come out nothing less than what you see now. I would say, first of all, it's a welcome development, and then uh, it feels good. It's a, it's a first here, and it's coming to Lagos, so I'm glad to just be a part of the first people that I experience in it and I look forward to a good 3D, 3D image of myself. Well, very excited, I must tell you. I mean, you know, when they called me up and they told me that, hey, Brian, what do you think about getting a 3D action figure of yourself? I said, that would be very interesting. And at first, I thought it was a joke until I saw the whole package and I said, wow, these guys are actually serious. And uh, when I got to the office and we liaised, I found out that, I mean, it's, it's yet another way for you to have a great memory on your shelf. I mean, it, it beats pictures. It beats frames. You know, this is a new, uh, a new exciting way to have yourself on, on, on probably your office or in your house or something. So uh, I, I instantly took on it and then they told me, hey, Brian, we're extending this gesture to 10 of your friends. And I was like, wow. So I, I immediately got on Instagram, Facebook and everywhere and I started to broadcast and I nominated 10 of my friends to be a part of this, which most of them are here now. And then we're, we're having a good time so far. A lot of people come and, and introduce a lot of ways to try to have a memory or try to preserve something and I, th I think this one is here to stay because it can't get destroyed. It's something that you can have anywhere, everywhere, weather, you know, cold temperatures, wherever you are. And then it's yet another way to, to have a memory of a, of a particular thing or of a particular time in your life. Something you want to depict, you know, like I want to miss an Nigeria and here I am with my sash trying to, re trying to relive that memory. So it gives the people the opportunity to relive a memory and I think that's priceless. So they're doing a good job. Consultant to the company, Julie Porter explains the steps involved in the 3D printing. So what happens is people will stand in this special booth, the 3D Shapeify booth, and in 12 seconds, it'll rotate around you. Um, and then you're done, you can step down. And at that time, the computer software will take all those pictures it just took of you and turn it into a 3D rendering. And from there, we're able to send it to a specialized 3D printer that will print you layer by layer by layer, and then you'll have a statue, a mini figurine of yourself. So, I mean, what this is doing is allowing people to have these pictures of themselves that are 3D. So say if dad has to leave and go to work far away, he can leave a shapey of himself with his children so daddy can still be there at the table eating dinner with them or playing with them and they won't have to feel like they're missing their loved one. Um, so there's a lot of great ways people can use these, just like you use a picture that's flat, but these 
you know, are 3D. And so you can take them with you and your family can still feel close to you. So this is just the beginning of the 3D technology here in Africa. Um, we're starting with the lifestyle 3D, so the 3D portraits. But from there, we're expanding to bring um, 3D technology to Africa by way of being able to scan car parts or scan you know, anything you can possibly think of. We're able to scan it with a 3D scanner and then reverse engineer it, make duplicate parts, We'll be able to 3D print houses for people. It's, it's really big implications. The unique thing about launching this is that we desire abundance in our lives. And 3D printing technology is one of those technologies that's going to bring abundance to the world. And it's going to bring abundance to Africa. And essentially, I think it's time for us to embrace it. Even as the way we embraced internet and computer, computing when it first came in here. So it's one of those technologies that is in the space and it's going to bring abundance, it's going to bring creativity, it's going to bring innovation, it's going to bring, more importantly, it's going to spur entrepreneurship everywhere in this country. It's a new phase for Nigeria and Africa in technology. And with a 3D launch, we can expect positive disruptions.